Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here with a couple of knife fighting tips for you. If you're having to use your knife for self-defense, one of the best things to do is be able to control your weapon. Basically, what I mean by that is not overshooting the target. When I'm sitting here slashing or thrusting, I want to make sure that I don't overshoot and give the other individual an opportunity to get a hold of me. I don't want to come slashing wild, crazy slashes or taking super massive thrusting leaps with a blade. I want to keep everything nice and tight and in the frame of their body because I'm cutting them, not what's around them. First rule of having a knife for self-defense is make sure it's sharp. If your knife is not sharp, then it all it is is a paperweight. So basically, once you have a sharp knife, then you can get down to business. And what I mean by keeping everything in tight, if I'm having to do a slash or a cut, and I'm coming into the body, notice what I'm doing. I'm stopping my arm right about there. Because I don't need to have a powerful, long thrust or a crazy slashing swing because my knife is sharp. It's going to do the damage. I don't want to give this other person an opportunity to put me in an arm lock. Because if I do a big slash and miss, and I give them this much of my arm, and they've trained in Hapkido, Aikido, Jiu Jitsu, Judo, grappling, anything that teaches them even a basic arm bar, they're going to get a hold of it. So what I want to do is come in, slash, slash. Notice this arm is kind of stopping me. And the reason I'm doing it is because I trained for many decades of doing this. So I don't overshoot if I'm excited, anxious, scared, whatever my situation is. I don't want to overshoot. So I'm here, coming in, and I'm slashing. I want to slash again, I'm coming down. Notice how I keep this arm tight. I don't want to come way out here. Two reasons. One, he may have a partner that may get a hold of me. Now they got me in an arm bar back here. <clears throat> Second reason is, I don't want to go wild crazy. I could between, be between two vehicles. Buildings, pole. I don't want to hit a building, a pole, a person, a vehicle, and knock the knife out of my hand. So, <clears throat> slice in, cross, it's in tight. Now I can thrust. Thrusting. This shoulder is going to stop about right here right here. I don't need to go to where I'm extended out, hyperextending and they got me. I'm here, one, two, and thrust. Also, when I'm sitting here, think about the bottom of your knife, tip number two. Make it an impact weapon. No different than using a Cobra Look at that. Got about as much. So basically, use the bottom of your knife as an impact weapon as well. Someone's trying to get a hold of my wrist using that knife to break the grip as I would a Cobaton. Bust that grip, now I can thrust. <clears throat> they got a hold of here, bringing that arm, redirecting it, thrust. <clears throat> so use it as an impact weapon. I can sit here, if I thrust, I can still hit and make it a blunt impact weapon to the temple, ear, jawline, throat. Use it as a blunt weapon. <clears throat> I'm inverted. Same thing. Slicing, controlling that arm. Because when I come across, I can thrust. Come across, thrust. Boom. Everything's in tight and control. In control. <clears throat> I'm going to thrust. He leans back. I happen to miss, I extend out. I don't have to be always so deadly. I can cut across the chest area and go into the shoulder blade. But if I go more serious, cut across the throat, cut across the face. Again, using this as a blunt weapon. He could be throwing a haymaker as I block, striking into the solar plex popping upward into the chin, making that hit the chin, 
popping the head back. As the head goes back, the, nice, the arm is here, the knife comes down into the face. If I must, I can enter the gateway of the eye. Enter into the cheek area. Enter into the throat. Pop, pop. I can enter into the solar plexus. I'm not worried about them trying to grab that arm and pull it back because I popped them. If he goes to one side, I can still cut in. So, control your knife. Remember, keep it in tight. You're not signaling a plane. Control it. First rule, knife is sharp. Second rule, control your weapon. Third rule, <clears throat> use the entire thing besides the blade. Use the bottom of the knife as a Kobaton style impact weapon. So hopefully that helps, and this is Gary Hernandez with a couple of knife tips for you. Thank you.